started out painting trees when Clay and I started hiking together. We were photographing a lot of trees. I wasn't really doing any nature stuff before that. Although, if you look back in my artwork, even as far back as like when I was nine years old, which is like the oldest painting I have, there's tree forms in it and they're almost identical to the ones that I have now. It's kind of surprising. Trees have been in my artwork for probably 12 years now um, as trees. And I've put the human energy kind of superimposed in the bark of the tree on some early pieces. Or now it's in gesture of the tree. I think the tree, for instance, is a manifestation of the bird, and the bird is a manifestation of the tree. I don't see them as being different from each other at all. And in my paintings, I can paint that way. They're not different. In nature, you know, we have a tendency as humans to separate things from each other, but in the artwork, I don't have to do that. I can see it as one continuity. So sometimes when you look in trees, you can see in the branches, they, um, they, I, I see stuff in the branching patterns of the trees all the time. And so I see whole environments in the branches. So sometimes the branches look like mountains. Sometimes they look like birds. Um, sometimes you'll have a mountain in the background and the tree, the branch, almost kind of follows the line of the of the mountain and so you have this mountain form that's in the branch of the tree. You know, maybe it's the tree thinking about the mountain or the tree thinking about the bird. The tree is a stationary being, but maybe it dreams about flying, so it dreams in the form of a bird since it's all one thing. My artwork is about communicating the beauty in nature, the um, kind of numinous, numinous aspect or sentience in nature. A lot of times in my artwork, I want, I'm hoping that this communication will become pictorial or, you know, I, it's like the world is as you dream and I am dreaming this whole understanding of nature that I want to communicate. The importance in painting is to get the idea of nature as a sentient being, that it has a life of its own, that it's smart, that it thinks, that it's like um, it has its own experience and it has its own um, thing going on. The way it shows up in my artwork is that things kind of interchange. But I think they really do in nature. I mean, water becomes sky. When the water evaporates, it goes into the sky and, you know, maybe it becomes a cloud and then the cloud rains down and it becomes a tree. So there's things that are constantly, the whole earth is in this cycle of metamorphosis and so my paintings kind of slowed that action down um, so that it becomes a kind of playful way of um, looking at the world. There's this one painting, um, the Orcas Island painting, where I have land masses and they become uh, fish and they become whales. So the islands become kind of big fish in the painting and the fish become islands. And so there's this interaction between the land and the, the water, between the um, sky and the land, and they, and they shift into each other. And I think that this happens in nature too. I mean, I think everything is one, and that's a really big thing. Right now on Camino Island, it's a completely different environment and a lot of my paintings this year have been uh, explorations about 
just thinking about this new environment and uh, even though I painted about the Northwest from trips out here and everything for years before we moved out here, moving out here is a completely different experience. The first winter we were out here, I painted all gray paintings. You know, but, um, but then I thought, well, where is the color? You know, the color in the Northwest environment is in really subtle, small, forms in general. Like if you go into the forest, um, you might see in, during the winter a red leaf, you know, just in there. It's not like, you know, New England was like really pounding with color. So I was on this search for color in the Northwest, even though I am definitely not a scenic painter. I never I am inspired by the things that are around me and that I look at and that kind of come in. So the color I found is now we have a view of facing west um, from our house and I can see it through, you know, from the studio. And so the sunsets are where a lot of the color in this on uh, Kameno Island is just in the sunset. The sunset is the color and the sunset has come in to the paintings. 